think he looks great, doesn't he? Yes, indeed. Yeah, he still looks like he could pound one out. Yeah, he looks great. Uh, it's a pleasure to welcome our uh, next guest back to this program. He is a talented musician and composer whose new album is entitled Random Abstract, of which I have a copy right here in my left hand. Ladies and gentlemen, please say hello once again to Branford Marsalis. Gentlemen. <laughs> Ranford Marsalis. Hey, Don. All right, how about you? What kind of saxophone we have there? That's a 1941 balanced action, mint condition, never used. Uh huh. It's and bad. is that like an alto sax, a tenor sax? That's a tenor sax. And what, what is an alto sax? An alto sax is a little one back there. How many different saxophones are there? I don't know. What? <laughs> no, you should know this. Yeah. What do I care? I play tenor, man. Be serious. I'm in the business of playing that thing. <laughs> Sopranito, soprano, alto, tenor, uh -huh. bass, baritone. It's like six, contrabass, seven. There you and go. Somebody, oh, C melody, that's eight. And some other horn somebody will come up with, I'm sure. It's almost eight or nine. ten, roughly yeah. ten different saxophones. Yeah. Can you play? I know this is a dumb question. I'm a dumb guy. Um, <laughs> can, can you play all reed instruments? No, I can't play uh, oboes, bassoons, double reed instruments. Mm -hmm. I mean, all saxophones, have, they have little differences, but once you play the, the, the soprano, the mm -hmm. rest of them are fairly easy for me. So the fingering is a little different, but nothing you couldn't master? Yeah, on, on the single reed instruments, yeah. uh, double reed instruments, those are different animals completely. Are, are, are those the most uh, difficult instruments to play? Yeah, those are the ones that all the airheads play, double, double reed instruments. <laughs> <laughs> First time I played the oboe, like, you hyperventilate because on, on, a, on a tenor, you use, like, all the wind in your lungs in about... 30, 35 seconds. Yeah, and you collapse, the paramedics rush in. No, th that's cool, actually, you're used to that, but on, on the oboe, <laughs> when you play for 30 or 35 seconds, you're only using like a quarter of the wind you would use on a regular instrument. Yeah. So your brain's saying, I need more air, and you think you do, but you don't. <laughs> so I'm well, experiencing that right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think I need more air. <laughs> Living in New York, I can dig. Uh,
let's do, we'll do a commercial. We'll be back here with Branford Marcella. Time. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being here. My pleasure. Now, after the show, Paul and I are going up to Mickey Mantle's to get drunk and pick fights. You want to go? No, I'm going to the game and get drunk and fight. No, you're not. I'm going to the Mets game. The Mets, of course, oh, yeah. man, the All team. Right. Uh, anyway, my thanks to uh, Mickey Mantle and uh, Penn and Teller. We'll see you Monday, ladies and gentlemen, with Kent Herbeck, Jamie Gertz, and Art Buckwald. Have a good weekend. Thank you. For being here.